at that at that split second when he had a hold of me, you know, he had just said that he has rape and assault charges and it's either he's going to get me or I got to, you know, I can't let him and he hit me and I was just trying to protect myself. So while he he had me and he was pulling me in and I was trying to break free, I had broke my uh, my third metacarpal right here. And I remember looking down after, you know, trying to open the back door and I was trying to get out and I looked down and my finger was pushed all the way back in. I had up here was all bruised up from being punched. I had pulled neck, pulled my back, and then my hand. And I broke my hand. Rest in hand, I'm terrified, terrified of going out of my house. I'm hiding in the back room. And you've seen the windows in my house. Like, I didn't want anyone to see me. I was scared that people were gonna be looking in the window. What if he finds me? Like, he knows my name. I'm not sleeping. For weeks, I wasn't sleeping. I was so tired, but I was so scared to go to sleep because I kept having the same dreams over and over again, where I'm standing over my kids and I'm watching them bleed out because I just shot them. And I'm just standing there and nothing's happening. We're supposed to be provided six, six sessions. That's it. And those people that are supposed to be these amazing counselors, resources for us who understand our field, I went to three of them. The first woman told me that she's a marriage counselor and that she doesn't really focus in this area and ask more about my marriage. Another one wanted to know a story. They wanted to hear a story. So what kind of stuff do you deal with at work? You know, what, what's your story? What, what was your worst call? If I could go back in retrospect and I was able to get the proper counseling, would I be in the same state I am right now? A year later, would I still be dealing with these traumatic motions and being scared to jump on an ambulance and constantly looking to see if it's, is that the rig that I got trapped in? Or am I gonna get stuck again? Or having panic attacks when someone raises their voice to me or lifts their hand? I shouldn't feel like this, and I should have been treated right away, and I should have been given the resources right away to fix these situations.